what's up what's up it's your boy just 33 king production and yes this is one of my first videos that i'm doing i said i was going to do a video about what happened i was going to talk about in great details about what happened this past week like this this week but of course i got sidetracked by miss td tiffany draper you know, you know who you are. You know, TD. You know, what's up? What's up, girl? Holla at your boy. I don't know why all of a sudden she want to just try to dismantle who I am and what I stand for. I stand for family. I stand for rights. And I stand for your rights. You have a right. We have a right to understand who each other are, who, who we are. And I'm going to tell you what I stand for. I stand for, I, I got good morals. I have respect for everybody. I respect my wife. She's over there laying down because she's four months pregnant and she's trying to be calm because, you know, this past weekend. God bless her because she stood strong and tough and she stood for her husband, her family, her children. She stood for all of us in a time of need. In a time that we, um, um, uh, in a time where there were people that was trying to injure me. And she's still strong. She's still in her man's corner. And that's what, that's, what, that's what family means when you stand together no matter what. And even when Tiffany Draper tried to call Mr. Stinnett, Mr. Stinnett, Mr. Just King, a wife beater. Now once have I ever been in criminal court with Carolyn for domestic violence? Not once. You would never find that. Not once did I ever go into a, a rage of anger and violence to where, <laughs> you know, to where, and you know what? And let me not, let me not, let me not, not laugh about this because this is a serious, serious issue that Tiffany brought to the table. Um, I do not support domestic violence. I do not support any beating of wives, kids, any, any, now even men. I do not support none of it. I stand strong and firm on family and, and, and I strong firm on love and, 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 and individuality to where as an individual, I have rights. Just like my wife have rights as an individual. Let's talk briefly about what she's talking about, about being um, what I got arrested for and stuff like that. Um, and I did go to court for, um, for um, I wish I can, I, I got to black out certain things off this paper. But you know what? I'm going to show you guys the receipt. There you go. Right here. There's crumbs everywhere. I think they got to do some cleaning up. I wish I can, like, let me see if I can. I wish I can like uh, let me see what I got on this paper because <sighs> it does got my first and last name on there, which is fine because everybody already know my first and last name. I always say my name is Julius. I you can go to my YouTube. I mean, you can go to my Facebook. I always talk about my Facebook. Just King, Just King. Go 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 subscribe and go hit likes and all my Just King uh, Facebook pictures and stuff like that. Y'all can go through all my pictures on Facebook at Just King, Just King. Go check me out. I I love my family. And as you know, I have I have other kids in other in, in another state. You know, I love my daughter. Um, let me see. Does it have my address on here? Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just black out. I'm gonna just black out my name, really. And I'm gonna keep the sheet whole. It's it's right here, Justice Court Traffic Division. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all can let me let me just black out some certain things. So and let me see if I can get a pen. Black marker. Bear with me guys, bear with me, bear with me. Since I gotta go through all this bullshit. Um let me see. Let me see. I need a marker somewhere. Okay, let me just use this pen. Fuck it. Take this pen. Oh, wait a minute. It's just, no, it's just not a sharpie. So, I'm going to just black out. 
number, and that's going to be kind of greenish. Man, that's green. So I'm going to use this screen. Yep, so black out that. Um, I need to know my full name, but you already got it, so I can't black out that. Um, warrant, warrant, return, hearing, custody, warrant one. Okay, basic speeding ticket over. And, and so it should have a date. I'm going to circle the date right here. I'm going to circle that date. I'm going to circle the time. 7.52 a.m. Um, I got 11.30.18. What is that? I don't know. what that. I know it's on my birthday. Um, basic speeding trip. Tip, charges. It's basic speeding. I'm going to put a little notches next to it. And we'll just... Y'all can check it out. So, so y'all, let's see if I can switch this around. I can't because it's such a cheesy phone. Okay, so now we got this. And this is what they gave me as I'm leaving now. It says um, this right here. This is, this is what I got. And you, Tiffany probably can, y'all can see what Tiffany had. And I don't know if it's good lighting. But I might do this video over, over, so I can't really show you. But this is what just 33 King was in jail for. I just scratched out my name, but fuck it. This is my scoop, uh, I don't know, ID. I didn't have no attorney because I didn't really need one. But it says Traffic, Justice Court Traffic Division. You know what I'm saying? So, um, of course, I had like another paper which shows my property and stuff like that. Do I still have that fucking thing? Anyways, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I don't know if I'm showing other stuff there. I don't know, but all I know is this is the office that I frequently come to. This is not no halfway house type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing to hide. And if y'all, I mean, it's nothing It's nothing to me. We all have a past. We all have a present. And we all have a future. Now, what I don't understand is, I can't, for the life of me, what I can't understand is, and this is my wife. You want to get on camera, Carolyn? Carolyn. She, she, she says she's tired. She don't want to get on camera. So, um, What I can't understand is, and I still got the blood on my pants. What I can't understand is, why is it that you take two other gentlemen that was trying to take just 33 Keen out, trying to take, and my wife is standing there trying to help to fend these people off. And I can give you Tiffany. I can text you the names. So you know that I'm not lying. And I'm going to show you. Once we go to court. You're going to see that I'm not telling. That I am telling the truth. You're going to see that I'm telling the truth. Once I go to court. And these two gentlemen. That was trying to take from me. And my family. You're going to see what happens. You're trying to say that I was lying about a stabbing and, and, and the cut. And I don't want to glorify that. I don't want I, I don't want to because I didn't I don't want that man to be hurt or injured by me. I don't see anything funny about it. I don't see anything popping about it. I don't see anything to even talk about. Like, that's not something that you want to get on here and talk about. I was simply trying to talk about me of what I've survived. That's it. But Tiffany tried to take it and take it somewhere else, which I thought was very weak and, 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 and just weak for her to do. And to try to post my name and all that stuff as if I was trying to hide my name. Like, I always say go to my YouTube if you want. I mean, go to my Facebook if you want to know who I am. Go to my YouTube. I mean, go to my Facebook. If you want to know who I am, go to my Facebook. Go to my pictures. It's open for the public. Of course you're going to come across my name. So what is, there, what is it there to hide? Nothing. I'm not ashamed of 
what I have experienced in my past. I'm not ashamed of what I have done in my present. And I'm not ashamed of what I've done in my future. I know it's going to be morally right. And we all make mistakes. We do. So the first person that free from sin cast the first stone. Tiffany, you may not have experienced some of the things I have experienced, but trust me when I say you're not, you're not, you're not spotless. Am I going to go try to dig in your past because you got a spotless past? No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not as low as you. I'm just speaking the truth of what I experienced these last past couple of days, and it's not nothing good. I should not have to. I should not have to. Um, defend my household the way I had to. I should have. I sh could have been just. I could have. I should have been just at home chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you want to talk about my wife, how she chose somebody that was poor. Honey, let me tell you something. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm rich in spirit. I'm proud about who I am. I'm proud about the accomplishments I have made in my life. I'm proud about being a father. I'm proud about being a husband. I'm proud of being a man in this world, a black man at that. Because you know as soon as you raise, as soon as this man speak, this black man. And don't let him be educated. As soon as this black man speak, they're going to try to, they're going to, try to slam you down to the ground. And that field nigga you are, I mean that, that house nigga you are, that's what you are. That's what you are. I hope you understand that. I hope you understand what I mean. Harriet Tubman would have shot your ass and left your ass there while you all, oh, look what he did. Oh, I'm going back to Massa. Stop it. Stop it. I hate I hate that we have to go through this. I hate that we got to go back and forth between you and I. Because I didn't have a problem with you. I didn't. I liked you so much to where I was only subscribed to you out of all the other ones that's in our lane. And yet you showed me to be wrong about you. I never thought in a million years you would try to do something as low as what you're doing. And you want to talk about her, talk about her selection? Really? So you mean to tell me when a younger girl is supposed to go after an older man, she's, that older man is supposed to have money, so now you're, trying to, now you're telling me you're a gold digger? Now you're telling me you're only after that man for his riches? Because that's what you're saying, Tiffany. Come on, Tiffany. You're better than that. Use your brain. You're better than that. Listen. I may not have all the riches in the world. I may not have all the money in the world. I may not have all what the next man has, like the, like the cars. I may not have all the money. I may not have the best house. But at least I stand with these guys right here. This guy right here. You know what I'm saying? I like that guy right there. Because it's not all about money it's not all about cars it's about uniting together it's about standing up for what you believe in and knowing your right as a man and as a woman to all the women that get beat by their man i wish that didn't happen to you and whatever just 33 king productions can do to help that issue, let's talk about domestic violence. Let's talk about how a lot of men and women don't know that arguing, you can have domestic violence with your mouth. You can scream and yell, and that is domestic violence. I learned that too. So, for the next, for the next series, we're going to be talking about domestic violence. Thank you for the topic to talk about, Tiffany. And we're gonna we're gonna dissect that. We're gonna dissect a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm if I'm 
this this person that's beating on women, which I'm not, I wouldn't be in such a high-profile place like I am. This is a powerful place I am in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know where I'm at. You would never understand what, what I do on my free time. You know what I'm saying? I stand with leaders. I stand with leaders that made a way for us people like me to be able to do this right now. I stand with people that, you know what I'm saying, despite, you know, problems with each other, he stood for a dream. He stood for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And I stand with these people too. I would never give up. I would never give up on Julius or just 33 King Production. I am just 33 King just 33 King Production. I am Julius. But we all make our mistakes. We all do. We all do. But I'm I'm about empowering people. Trying to empower young black youth. Bringing bringing together young black men. That's what I'm about. I'm not on here to tear you down, Tiffany. I don't want to tear you down. And if that's what you believe that I'm here for, to tear you down, then I'm not going to play your game. Because another man wanted another man to tear me down. And how did you miss that? How did you miss one man paying another man to fight me just to get it on video? How did you miss that? And how did you just not talk about that? How did you not talk about the survival of what we did? I thank God for this man right here. He made a difference for me. He made a difference for me because he opened up my mind. He enlightened me. He gave me understanding of who I am, who I could be, and where I'm going to go tomorrow. And I don't think you will ever understand that. I don't think you will ever understand that. So why you're trying to dog me out, Tiffany? You're only making me stronger. I look at this man right here in front of me, the 44. <sighs> Powerful man. He made a difference for you and me. Why can't we make a difference for each other? How about your boy? It's your boy Just 33 King Production. I don't have beef with Tiffany. She got beef for us, with herself. I can't see myself tearing down another woman on this platform. Now, when I said you want smoke, you want to get it, Tiffany, I thought we was going to have internet beef. Like, you know, just having fun with YouTube and stuff. Not nothing serious like, like trying to blast my name and blast my wife's name. We got kids we have to protect as well. These are the reasons why I don't put my real name on there. But if people go search, it's there to find. Come on, Tiffany. All I ask for you to do is just it's just to apologize and leave it alone. That's it. My wife was hurt. She knows how much I liked you. She said, Tiffany did that? I said, yeah, I don't know why she's doing that. I said, I don't know why. Why she do that, Julius? <laughs> No. How you said just you got all the videos talking about just as a wife beater? Shit, should I go buy me some shirts that look like I'm a like the wife beater shirts? I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> so to everybody, all my subscribers, I need you to guys, I need you guys to understand and like this video. And if you're new to, to just 33 King Production, I'm here for the long call. I'm not going nowhere. You got to understand. And this is what I believe. Hear me out on this one. This is what I believe. This is misplaced hate placed in the wrong place. What do I mean? Well, Kanika. Kanika. How did I, how am I tying Kanika into all this? Well, Kanika's story is dissolving. It's going away. People are, are really not. The YouTubers are, are running out things to say. So naturally, what's going to happen is, guess what? They're going to turn on each other. And that's how they're going to stay relevant. Well, I didn't want to start turning on the YouTubers and having beef with this person and beef with that person. That's not what I wanted to do. 
But of course, I have to defend myself as a as a YouTuber and as a man. Um, but I believe that's what Tiffany is doing. So she's finding every little niche just to go at somebody. And we're gonna pull. She's gonna pull up every little dirty little whatever just to blast out there for what? For what? It's not going to change anything because I'm still going to move forward. I'm still going to love my subscribers. I'm still going to love the ones that stay. And I'm still going to love the ones that's going to believe you and leave. At the end of the day, and I'm wrap this thing up real quick. I'm 20 minutes in, too long. I still love you, Tiffany. I still appreciate you, Tiffany. And I still believe that you're keeping me on top of my game. I knew one day that this, some shit was like this was going to happen. It's only fitting that this, what, this, I guess this is what people do when you're trying to do your thing on YouTube. I told you, I'm a year, I'm, I'm a year and some months into this. And this is the best you can do? Come on. This is the best you got? So, we're the, better now than never, right? You know what I'm saying? Better now to, let's get gist and... Pull out all his shit and just dump it out there. I'm telling you, stop it. There's no need for it because I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. I'm still going to be just 33 King Production. I'm still going to push towards my goal for my platform, and I'm still going to grow as a as a as an individual. Period. So, if people are expecting me to to respond with all the dirt about her, no. Even if it's no dirt, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to do it. And it may not be nothing. She may be the most perfect stand-up citizen in the world. In the world. Then, hey, that's what you are. I love it. Or you might be the worst criminal in the world. I, I'm not perfect. Hey, nobody is. But at the end of the day, I still believe that everybody needs a chance. And if you're that person, and you, if you're that person that had... Car accident, hit and run, you know, had domestic violence issues, and you're a changed man or you're a changed woman. Come to Just 33 King Production, you know, because I'm not here to judge you or your past or your present or your future. I know I got a lot of Caucasian people to watch me. I know I got a lot of black people to watch me. I know I got a lot of Chinese people. I got a lot of people from every race, every walk of life that watches me. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to love you. I'm here to respect you and honor you and thank you for watching me. Because who am I? I'm just, I'm just me. And you're taking your time to watch me. Even the people that this past couple days done what they did against me and my wife. I still love them. And like I said in my other video... I wish I could sit down with you two and have a conversation with both of you and solve this problem. These two men try came in my house and tried to injure me and my wife. I still have mind enough to say, hey, if there's an issue there, why can't we sit down and talk about this? Instead of people losing or instead of me losing my life or somebody losing their freedom. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. Let's sit down and talk about this. So if you ever hear this video, you know how to get in contact with me. 909-461-7816. I don't want, want beef with my neighbors. I don't want to be a target of $250 ransom or you know, payment for an act of violence. I want to be a target of love. Hey, let's go get him and give him a hug. Let's go get him and give him a handshake. That's where I'm at. Of course you know I'm going to do a video though. Sorry to startle you guys. I know y'all jumped. Of course I'm going to do a video about it. <laughs> I got one that's going to make y'all laugh though. Because I, I love to laugh. Even now I love to laugh. <laughs> hey baby, go get me a cup of water. A couple people know what I'm talking about that. But at the end of the day... I keep saying this. At the end of the day, I don't know what I showed y'all on this thing, but fuck it, I showed it. I don't care. It's a receipt. At the end of the day, I ain't got no hate for Tiffany. I ain't got no hate for those who, who try to 
hurt me physically. Tiffany, how did you look past that? I still got the blood on my fucking leg and I hate looking at that. Fuck, man. To, to, to their family members. You know, we gotta coexist. I gotta come back to my apartment. And see, what y'all failing to realize, the people who attacked me, damn near like 10 or 15 of their family members live there. But yet, Tiffany, you don't get that. You don't understand that. And I still have to, sometimes I have to leave my wife there and she scales all outdoors. Yet, all you want to talk about is something that you think you know, that you have no idea what's going on. Pretty Face can vouch for me with that. I'm serious. You don't have no idea of what I go through when it comes to family. And I wish you would stop because you just don't know. You don't get it. You just don't get it. I'm not begging you. I'm not just out here just trying to talk calm to you because whatever you think, I don't know. Like, I'm just telling you. You just don't get it. You don't understand it. I don't think you will understand. All you see is one thing and you created this monster of whatever you want to create. Yes, you have a motive. Yes, you need to get likes. Yes, you have to get comments. Yes, you have to get subscribers. That's what we are here on YouTube for. And I, am I mad at you for that? No, but I'm mad at how you're doing it without even reaching out to me. I consider you a YouTube friend. Yes, is that possible? Yeah, it is. I considered you a YouTube friend. I don't know how you take that or not, but just look at my. I still got you the only subscriber out of Stray Drop, out of uh, um, Rob, out of fucking all them, all them people. You're the only one. You know why? Because you're the only one I liked. It still stands there. <sighs> Tiff, I wish you can understand where I'm coming from, but I don't think you can understand. But my, my, my leader is coming, so I got to get off this thing. Peace and love to everybody. This is straight a letter to Tiffany Draper. Holla at you. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.